We're demonstrating today in our continuing protests to demand justice for Trayvon Martin. The People's Organization for Progress and our allies have come here today to let people know that the struggle for justice for Trayvon Martin is not over. Not by any means. Not over. We come here today to demonstrate to continue to draw attention to the issue of justice for Trayvon Martin. We've come here today to call upon Eric Holder, the United States Attorney, to launch an official investigation into the death of Trayvon Martin to determine if his civil rights were violated, and if so, to bring civil rights charges against George Zimmerman and put him on trial in federal court. We've come here today to demand the abolition of the Stand Your Ground laws that exist in 30 states in the United States have Stand Your Ground laws. We call today for the abolition of those laws. Yes. We call, we come here today to demand the enactment of laws banning all racial profiling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Trayvon Martin was racially profiled. That's right. He had on a hoodie, but he wasn't killed because of his hoodie. That's right. He had a can of Arizona iced tea in his hand, but he wasn't killed because of the Arizona iced tea. He had a bag of Skittles in the other hand, but he wasn't killed because he had a bag of Skittles. He was killed because he was black. And everybody knows it. They know it on the East Coast and they know it on the West Coast. They know it in the North and they know it in the South. Had it been a young white man, he'd be alive today. But it was a young black man, racially profiled. And if we don't have some laws in these states banning racial profiling, there will be more Trayvon Martin. So we call for the abolition of the Stand Your Ground laws and the enactment of laws banning all forms of racial profiling. We're here today to show our support for Stevie Wonder and those other artists and entertainers that refuse to perform in the state of Florida. And we call on all the other artists and entertainers to do likewise. All of those whose records we buy, whose CDs we buy, whose videos we watch, we call on them to learn from the good example of Stevie Wonder and do likewise. Jay-Z, do likewise. Beyonce, do likewise. We want all our brothers and sisters in the entertainment industry to follow the lead of Stevie Wonder, Bruce Springsteen, and others who have refused to perform or perform in Florida. But we don't stop there. We call for an economic boycott of goods in Florida. Yeah, boycott. We need a boycott. boycott. If Florida cannot change its racist ways, if it refuses to abolish the stand your ground laws, then we refuse to give our economic support to the state of Florida. We need a national boycott. That's right. Of goods coming out of Florida. If we can't have justice, they can't have our money. It's as simple as that. We should withdraw our economic support of institutions that continue to engage in institutions. 
institutional racism. Trayvon! Trayvon! 